welcome back. Remember, you are watching Artistic Tuesday. We have so many goodies today, including Christine Kamau's album. So the hashtag to use is very simple, KTN Life and Style. Now, moving on to visual arts. We have an amazing guy with us in studio today. He went from being a graphic designer to a photographer. He's now the chairman of Photographers Association of Kenya. I am telling you, when the passion comes calling, you have no option but to answer. Steve Nderutu, welcome. How are you? Very fine. How are you doing? Very okay. Are you feeling happy to be here? Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> so you're telling me a very interesting story. Yes. About how you started as a graphic designer. Yes. But you moved to photography. Yes. Why is that so? Um, what happened is that um, I think at the time when I was doing freelance graphic design, there wasn't um, that much pictures to use in my design work. So I had to source the pictures myself. And I ended up buying a camera so that I could take the pictures that I wanted so that I could use them in the graphic design work. And um, from there to where I am today, I'm not sure I can explain how I ended up, but that's how I started. <laughs> so according to those photographers you had during that time, they didn't match up to your standards? I cannot say they couldn't match the standard, but it was um, photography was not what it is today. There aren't as many photographers and the price was a little bit steep uh, for me as a freelance graphic designer to afford that. So, and I wanted to have my own flexibility. I wanted to, to do what I wanted uh, without having to go to another photographer. So I found myself um, looking for a camera and taking the picture the way I want. And then I already had the picture in my mind of how I'd use it in a design, in a poster, in a magazine cover. So that's how I ended up buying my first camera. Oh, wow. Yes. So you already had the end product. Yes, I had it uh, mostly, I had it in mind already, yeah. even before I picked the camera to take the photo. I knew what I wanted, yes. That is amazing. So most of the people, you hear that nowadays, yeah, as you had said, there were not many photographers as they, were to, as they are today. Yes. So you, you hear that, um, I had to learn through YouTube, just getting the skills. Like most people don't, okay, not really to say they don't go to school for it, yes. but they find materials online. So is that in your case as well? Um, I think our time, was there YouTube in 2007? I can't remember, but all I know is that um, today photographers are a bit luckier. Our time, uh, you had to survive on your own. There aren't as many professionals. So, but I, there were some resources online that could, uh, you could uh, scratch and get uh, to learn here and there. But I believe it was a bit harder around that time than it is today. Um, today there are many photographers you can learn from. There are communities online and offline. There are much more opportunities to learn. There are even photography uh, schools and much more uh, universities that are teaching photography than some years back. Um, I can't help but notice your t-shirt, yes. Photo Magic Studio. Yes. Is that your studio? Yes, that is my studio that I uh, started some years back. Uh, it's a brand that I use to, um, to give services to our clients. Um, yeah, and we give a wide range of services for businesses mostly, but also for families, some government institutions, NGOs, SMEs, across a wide range of organizations and clientele. So from yes. co corporate to yes. the studio works? Yes, yes. We have a studio. We have a studio so like families come there, but we also go to take pictures uh, out there. So it says video and photography? Yes. So do you do the video bit of it? Uh, I would lie if I said so, but I have, um, I have a team that I work with. So video is a recent entrant into our list of services. So I have people who we have hired who do the video work. Um, and we got into it the other day because our starting point was, uh, was photography. But being a photographer, you, you don't stop being curious. That's so I am, I am looking at video. I'm looking at video uh, very keenly. I'm not sure I learned how to edit, but it's an interesting field in its, on its own. On its own, yeah? Yes, yes. So up until now, since 2007 when you started, yes. are there any people, and you already said you, ha you already have a team behind you, yes. so you do mentor them as well? Yes, we, we, we have, a, there are people that I mentor. Um, two and a half, I think it's two and a half years ago, um, I came across so many people who wanted to learn photography, um, who are inspired by my work and other photographers' work, but they needed a lot of mentoring. And after some time, um, we even started a school uh, because there was a gap because uh, there was no connection between those who are ahead and those who are starting in the field. So I get a lot of those requests, even being an official of the association. 
So we're trying to create that family of photographers in Kenya so that um, the men mentorship uh, can become solid and we can encourage. Even we visit high schools, there are so many young people who want to learn photography. It's so true. we are creating that. It's true. Yeah. So we have some of your pieces with you yes. in the studio. Yes. Where do I start? Can we start with this one? This yes. piece? Um, this one is um, it's part of a series that I did um, sometime in February. Okay. Um, there's a day called World Hijab Day. Mm -hmm. So I got some friends. Um, what happens is that as photographers, you engage in personal projects. That is your own initiative. You write the brief. You execute it yourself. But it helps you to challenge yourself. So I did this. It was a series called um, for the hijab, World Hijab Day. Um, which is to celebrate the beauty in uh, wearing yeah. the hijab. So, yeah, I got the models so just, uh, okay. and, and got to shoot that. So it was more of a personal project Yes, it was you. not a paid-for assignment. Uh -huh. uh, it was a personal assignment. Okay. So we got to, Oops. I got to get some models in the studio uh -huh. and then we got uh, to shoot that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, which place do we go to next? This is the wedding. Yes. So you do weddings as well, not just corporates. Yes, weddings is... Um, Weddings is that field that uh, many photographers are trying to run away from because it's somehow crowded. But for me, it's a passion. I love it so much because you get to capture um, such moments of yeah. very genuine happiness, very genuine joy. Um, yeah, and most of this was uh, uh, my friend's wedding. So I got to do what I wanted. You know, he told me, spoil yourself and shoot as you want. Why, so. why are photographers running away <laughs> from weddings? I mean, th there's free food. Um, especially because of <laughs> yeah. such comments, like there is free food, because what happens is um, we, 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 they can tend to be very tiring, but this is also part of a wedding photo shoot. We had gone to some uh, host tables and then we shot, uh, we shot it there. And uh, they wanted something different. The client wants something different. That's a bride. Uh, so she said she wanted that kind of a feel um, and we got to shoot. Did you say host tables? Yes, yes. They it's, are, it's, it's part of a series. There are others where they were on a horse and uh, more hay and grass. And, uh, so yeah, there's a, a lot of money for this. To pay you for a horse table? Money. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's just have a seat. Now yeah. we have t-shirts to give away as well. Yes. So apart from... You've heard from Stephen, what, from Steve, I'm sorry, what he said. And he has t-shirts to give away. We have three of them in different sizes. So tell me, how did he start his journey? Yeah? How has his journey been? What, what did he do initially before he got into photography and why? Remember, the hashtag to use is very easy. That is KTN Life and Style. And we will be giving you these T-shirt. So we have four T-shirts to give out and they are all for you up for grabs. So remember to use the hashtag very simple. Twitter and Instagram is KTN Life and the School Style and the hashtag to use is KTN Life and Style. So what has your biggest client been? Um, I think the biggest client, if I could talk even in terms of remuneration, has been the NGO world. Okay. Uh, which is mostly called documentary work and corporate. That is like big, uh, big companies. So... Um, there's an assignment I did some years back for the International Organization for Migration. Um, so that was the biggest assignment because we had to travel in many parts of Kenya to cover projects that had been uh, funded and just tell the success stories um, uh, for those different projects in different parts of mostly northern Kenya and uh, yeah, the northeastern Kenya. Ah, yes. okay. okay. So for someone who has a passion like for you clearly, you're like, uh, uh these photos I keep on getting, they're not really working for me. I really need to get my camera because I already know my end product, how it's going to be. So I really need to go and get the images for myself. Uh, yes, one of the key things when you're a photographer is something called anticipation, which means that by, by the time I'm picking up this camera to press the button, um, I already have the picture in my mind. So I will just be creating or recreating what's in my mind on the camera. So. More often than not, it's not it's not by chance that you see photographers with great work, but it's uh, there's some thinking that goes into it, and a lot of artistic skill mixed with the technical skill. Amazing, yes. amazing. So, for anyone who is interested in any kind of shoots, where can they find you? Your contacts. Um, they can find. They can go to our website. We are on uh, we are on photomagic.co.ke. We are also on social media under the name Photomagic Studio.
And our studio is, um, is uh, just on Gong Road in town, and that's where we do most of our studio work, especially for families, groups, and, uh, and friends, like the, the photo that is there for groups. Like um, this one? Yes, even this one, which is just, you know, you pick your girlfriends, come to the studio, have fun, um, pick up the colors you want, and we don't rush, we do it, and it's fun, and then you get fun pictures after that. Yes. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing. Okay, so remember we still have t-shirts from Steve that we are giving out. Just simply tweet us and our hashtag to use is KT and Life and Style. That is all we had on photography. Now moving on, we have an amazing, amazing jewelry owner in studio with us. Her art is known as Shiet and she makes amazing pieces which she terms as modern African pieces. Wanjiru. Yes. Hi. Good Hello. morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am fine. Did you say did I say that correct? Modern? Yeah, pieces? modern pieces. I would say they are a mix of Bohemian. I'm inspired by the Bohemian culture and the African culture as well. Yes. Are you wearing some of your pieces? Yes, right now? definitely. Everything I'm wearing is she art. Yes. She art. Yes. What she art, what does it mean? Or is this the way it is Wanjiru Shiro? No, yeah, it's Shiro She, so yeah. She so it's just basically she art. Yes. So you have amazing pieces. Thank here. you. Thank you. Do we start with the ones you have? Oh sure. Okay. Would you like me to stand or? Oh okay. Let's see this. Yes. Are these handmade? Yes, a hundred percent. Everything is a hundred percent handmade. Handmade. I make them myself. How do you do that? How do you do the whole coin? Um, this one. I buy this one as, a, as it is. Then I coil. Uh, wires and put beads inside, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. You coil wires? Yes. How? Uh, with, I have pliers. There's a plier called a round nose plier, which I use it to coil the wire and then insert the bead, coil again to close it. So it's not the normal ones for the bed? No, no, no. They, they, are, <laughs> they are jewelry uh, pliers and then there's those um, furniture pliers, yes. Ah. Carpenters plan. Okay, and the neck piece? Uh, same, same piece, same thing. You coil the wire, you put in the bead and close it. Then you join with a chain. This is a brass chain, yes. And we use brass wire. These are ceramic beads. Uh, this is a brass um, pendant, yes. Can I borrow your ring? Do you oh, know? Yes. Do you know those bad habits people can have? Oh, ladies, yes. Yeah. yeah. I have like, can I please I borrow it? And then the next time you ask me for your ring, it is and not it's missing. Whether yeah. this is missing, it is already missing. Yeah. It's a pleasure if you wear it. Oh yeah. yeah Thank you. Terrible. So let's talk about your different pieces that we have here. Yes. Can you start with the neck piece? Sure. Right over there. This is a choker, very famous currently. Yeah. Ladies are wearing chokers. These are all beads. Yes, these are all beads. I only use beads um, and um, wire and a chain. Uh, oh, it's attached. Oh, no. No, it's not it's attached. Detachable. But you can, this, we layer. You know, women layer necklaces. Yes, yes, yes. So it's just an idea. You can layer two colorful pieces to create one set of, you know, jewel BS. Yeah. So this is a layered one. But no, this it's is a, now it's a one. Piece. Yeah. It's one piece. This is one piece, yes. And that's all beads as well. Yes, all beads. Very so common all... with the Maasai, yeah? Yeah. The beads, but now use colorful as opposed to them which are more dull. Yeah. Yeah. So now, um, these materials, they're easily available because you can tell from the string. What's the name of the string? Uh, it's called a fish line. Fish line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we actually used to do this project in high school. Oh, you did. You're lucky. For junior achievements. Not we're lucky. <laughs> I used, personally, I used to do it so that I could, I could go out for funkies. Oh, wow. Because, you know, uh, junior achievements, it was all about, like, promoting, pushing, just showing you how um, self-employed and oh. everything else. So we used to use the fish line. To which make is, jewelry. Yeah. Oh, nice. Which is something that is readily available, Yeah, it's yes? readily available, and it's, I think it's easier to, to do as opposed to the wire. Yeah. The wire takes time to learn that craft, I think, I assume, yeah. And for the beads as well? Uh, the beads? Yeah, to, they to are, get them. yeah. Yeah, easily available. Where you'll get the fish line, you'll also get the beads. The beads as well. Yes. So the materials are affordable and um, they're readily available Re as yes, well. Yes, sure. Okay, so the next pieces. You want to see the that? The earrings? Yes. I can see earrings. I can see earrings. I also make studs, which are oh, rare that's to find. so cute. It's so rare this... to find studded um, handmade pieces, yes. How so do I, you make this? I coil them as well and glue them in with a stud, yes. 
Oh, yeah, so that it has the stopper at the yeah, back? Yes. This is the same thing as this, you know? No. Quite different. Quite different, because yes. it also has the coils. But it's close to the same thing, yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, how, how long does it take to make, for example, this one, how long does it take you to coil this? Uh, this would take me about 20 minutes, roughly, yes. 20 minutes. Or we can say 30 minutes because of waiting for the for the glue to dry up. Yeah. And, yes. I wish you had carried the pliers. <laughs> so that I see, you know, like the image I have, of the you know, those normal ones. Oh, next time I'll bring the pliers. Yeah. Next time I can even <laughs> teach you how to do them. <laughs> oh, that would be very perfect. Yes. That would be perfect. And the um, neck, like the neck piece you have, yes. how long will that take to make? Uh, about 45 minutes or 30 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. Yes. Including coiling those small yeah, this, metallic... Yeah, like for this one, I'll only coil where there's a bead. If you don't see a bead, I didn't coil that part. Because I'll buy the chain in bulk, then I'll, you know, place it where I think it fits. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, so I can also see the... Um, Which the beadwork, the, the neck piece. Yeah, this is also a choker. Let me show you. So yeah, pretty. Thank you. It's a choker. It's also currently very fashionable. So you also do this with a fish line and yes. then now you join with I the, join with it. the pieces. Yes. So you everything is handmade. Everything is totally handmade. <laughs> and what is that? You also have a very pretty bracelet over here. Yeah, all these are bracelets. Mostly ladies, but this section is for guys. Uh-huh. And this these two are for male. Just an example of what Men can get. Which one, which one are the male ones? These two. Ah. Yeah. Because this is very manly, especially this. Are those what we used to call shambalas? No. Shambala, you join it with a, with a leather cord. That's the difference. People assume every male bead is a... Shambala. No, the shambala, the technique of making a shambala is very different from this. Because this is an elastic bangle. Yeah. Shambala has a very different technique. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Thank you. I've seen, um, how, how do you call this? Is this just a bracelet? It's no, a pendant. They, this piece. No, no, okay, the piece is a pendant, yes. but just like the, the this ornament. Uh, it's a bangle, male bangle. Yeah? Yes. I've seen them, like nowadays people rock this, yeah. now I watch, I'm yeah. matching color. It's very, very, very elegant. Fashionable, guys, very yeah. straightforward, very fashion forward, I mean, and very trendy. Yes. Oh, this is so pretty. So Thank do you have you. different pendants? Yes. Like for the signs, for yeah. the zodiac signs? Yeah. We, no, zod we don't have zodiac signs. We have animals. We have um, like stars, butterfly, earth. Oh, this That's is so pretty. So behind each and every piece, <laughs> what really inspires you to make you? What really pieces? inspires me? Uh, I would say the beads. Some t I, it could be funny, but I feel like the beads can tell you what you'll make out of it. And sometimes it's the woman wearing, like what you're wearing, I'll see like she needs maybe color or she needs something. And that inspires me. That what do you mean? Or what? she needs something. Yeah? yeah? What do you mean the beads inspire you? Like do they speak to you? I, I don't want to say they speak to me, but yes. You'll buy beads and you cannot just make anything. You know this, this one, when I'm buying it from the shop, this will make a beautiful male bangle. This will make a beautiful female. So bracelet. you're like the bead whisperer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Um, I would say uh, four years. Four years, yes. But really doing it, like this is my business, is what I want to do for five months. I used to do it as a hobby. Like you used to do in high school, I used to do it. It was just for funkies. <laughs> Mine was for also getting those two. I need to go to my friends, yeah. <laughs> buy pizza, and, you know, yeah. But then doing it, like... It's a business, five months. Five months, so yes. is it full time now? Yes. This is wow. now where my bread is coming from. Yeah? Yes. And what did you, did you do a different course? Um, yes, I did business management. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's in the same line, but yes, I did business management. Yeah, because it's in line, because it's now your own. No, I'm trying yeah. to do the BHR, yeah. yes. Self-employment. Yes. Oh, so how hard is it to get into the market from the capital? Uh, to materials, to being supported? The capital is not a problem because getting bids is very affordable. Um, what else did you ask? Be, uh, How had the, the capital, okay, you said the materials are oh, affordable, yeah, the but your family as well backing you up? Hey, it's, <laughs> it's tough. They don't want you to start small, obviously. They want yeah. you to 
you know, get employed, get a stable income. But then there's passion where passion lies. Your first pieces, who did you sell it to? Um, I, I went to Kenyatta University because we live nearby. That's why I did my first sale. Yes. And how was the reception? It was, it was okay because I was, I, the first time I sold them, I paid for my birthday. Oh, wow. I catered for my birthday, yes. So would, actually that is how it started. I was like, I need money for my birthday. So what can I do this? And how much would you sell your pieces? Because I'm sure each piece has a different price. Sure, sure. Each piece has a different price. My earrings, they range from 150 upward. My bracelets from uh, 150 as well. My necklace from 300 and above. Yes. Depending on what? On the design, the beads. Some beads are more expensive than the others. Yes. And the design, sometimes I feel like this is really original. Let me feel the reward of my originality. Ah, so yes. what are some of the challenges? The challenges is the market. Um, it's really, really, really crowded. And um, the challenge is standing out from, you know, the crowd. Yes. And, and convincing someone they are buying the quality and the design. That's a challenge. So how do you stand out? Um, I don't think there's anyone else. I'm very original, that's for sure. I create things from scratch. Um, the other thing that makes me stand out is the color, yes, the color. I'm very colorful with my pieces. So they pop? They pop, yes. You will know that is she art. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is she art. Yes. So what are some of the lessons? Because it's only been five months. It's only been five months, yes. Is it something that you will be doing for? This is... Like this is it now? This is it. You find it, you live by it, yes. This is it. So what are some of the challenges until now for the five months? Uh, the challenges is market, first of all, and um, again, standing out and um, convincing them this is, this is good quality. This is, this is, you know, you're buying the right thing. Yeah. Okay, so if I would like to purchase yes. like this pink, uh, bracelet yes what would i match this with uh for example like what you're wearing you've you've opened up to anything because you have you've worn a very neutral outfit yeah so for you anything right now would, would go with your outfit okay yes. okay so yeah it's good to really promote our very own brands yeah buy kenya buy kenya <laughs> wear kenya you yeah. know we need to pay bills as well I know. so for someone who's very interested and has seen like very amazing pieces that they would want to own mm -hmm. how will they contact you uh they can call me can whatsapp me sms me we also have a facebook page we have an instagram account and our website yes all under the name she at that is the they she at. no not there just she, she at yes s h w e a r t uh, yes. okay and the number uh zero seven two three five nine eight six seven six can you say that again zero seven two three five nine eight six seven six ah oh, thank you thank so can you i too. what what am i keeping from this i need to give myself a souvenir pick no, I have a ring, but you like something else, my hands are so bare. You can go with a pink one because now your Yay. outfit allows you to, <laughs> to pick. I'm so Kenyan. You, no, you know, like freebies. Freebies. We all love freebies, yes? But now yes. we have to pay bills, yeah? <laughs> so I know you are feeling very bad because I have all these goodies from Shiro, but the good news is that she is giving out some of her pieces as well. So what are you willing to part with? Uh, we are going to give out um, one pair of earrings, the long ones. Uh, for the gentlemen, we are going to give them a bangle. And then the ladies can get one pair of, um, I mean, they can get a necklace. Oh, but I really love the neck. Can I check that as well? <laughs> you can. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so anyway, that has been She at Amazing Pieces Beautiful. Remember to buy Kenya, promote Kenya, and wear Kenya as well. Don't go too far because Mikali is coming right up with Spoken Word. Poetry is emotion and poetry is mood. 
Ata wero juu kama sikea kurombele ulumaiti kila nafsi itetaka masi Cause love ni sacrifice a time, energy na life Sacrifice a life kama vile Jesus alifanya kwa cruz So nani mambo biad between Santa Claus na the cruz So I don't care kewe ni muindi, muislamu, wa mwarabu As long as you're on my phone book, you're all saved